Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to find and kill Bulwark. It is possible to solo this boss, but it can also be killed in a team. Bulwark can only be fought if it has been voted for in the Rathleton quest. Players have the option to vote for either Gluth Fairy, Bulwark, or Lisa. You can check which boss is currently available by heading up the stairs to the east of the Rathleton Depot to the Rathleton Magistrate and using the board to see the results of the voting. Also, to fight this boss, you will need one voting point obtained through the Ormond quest for each fight. To find this boss, we'll be heading south from Rathleton Depot and exiting the city. We will then head to the Minotaur Camp, east of Rathleton. Heading to the northern part of this area, you'll find the NPC Flora. Say hi, fight, yes, and one voting point will be consumed as you are teleported to the room to wait for the boss fight. There's a lever here to be pulled. Once the lever is pulled, everyone in the room will be teleported to the boss fight one minute later. This lever can only be pulled once every 16 minutes and 40 seconds, so you may want to check to make sure someone else hasn't used it before you commit to spending your boss point to enter the room. Once you are teleported to the boss room, you will find Bulwark. My video will be focusing on soloing from range, so this boss should still be possible solos at night. It is possible to bring multiple players into this fight though, which will speed it up significantly. This boss should be soloable as long as your character is around level 300, though if you are a knight, you may need a higher level to solo. Also, it is possible to use your familiar in these fights, so you may want to do that for extra damage. Neither Bulwark nor the summons will walk over fire fields. I recommend filling the southern part of the boss room with fields, and will keep the summons away from you. Also, Bulwark will consistently lose target on you when you are on the fire fields until you attack, causing him to walk over the fields. Bulwark can hit quite hard with the ability to melee over 1000, as well as throw stone showers and boulders up to around 500 damage. Bulwark will also summon 4 Amutants. These summons aren't worth killing as they will just be resummoned very quickly after they are killed. He has 72,000 health and can heal for between 2,000 and 5,000 health. He is neutral to physical and holy, takes 95% damage from fire, 90% damage from death, 85% damage from ice and energy, and is immune to earth. Bulwark is a boss in the Bane category, which means you'll get 50 boss points total for 300 kills. Because of the 16 minute and 40 second cooldown to use the lever again to enter the boss fight, it would be a slow completion. If you were to camp the boss non-stop, it would be over 80 hours. Though, this is a good boss to get some kills on if you're semi-AFK. Also, you can just do a couple kills per day throughout your boss rotation whenever you have some downtime waiting for a team or after hunts. If you just pick out a few kills per day, you'll get there eventually. If you're planning on camping Bulwark for an extended period or killing it regularly, it may be worth putting it on your boss cherry slot. Bulwark drops the one hit wonder, which will be affected by the increased equipment loot chance. This isn't a very common item, so it can be worth between 5 and 10 million gold on some servers. Hopefully this video helps you unlock Bulwark in your best cherry. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, happy hunting!